Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I pray you're doing well wherever you are. Sending you the purest of love and light. Knowing that God is for you. Who can be against you? You are blessed. You're highly favored. And you are highly, highly protected. You are loved. You are provided for. You are cared for. If this is your first time, I welcome you. Returning soul tribers, new soul tribers, thank you, thank you so very much for your continuous love and your support. Couldn't do it without you. May God continue to richly bless and keep you. I pray and I hope that you are enjoying this season for you, whether it's happy holidays, whether it's Merry Christmas. But Caesar's greetings, sending you again to the purest of love and light. So, as a lot of you, a lot of us are wrapping up this 2023, the enemy, the enemies are very desperate to, like, you know, their, do their clap back, to throw that one punch in, to see what they can get away with before the year close out because I believe a lot of these people who are working working so tirelessly in the background they know time is catching up on them they're running out of time and so this is like their last ditch effort to see what it is that they can do how they can wreak havoc how they can just get that one, that one lick back, that, you know, just to see it's like they're desperate. They're desperate because all the time, everything that they're doing, they realize it is not working because the weapons we know they may form, but they shall not prosper. You are covered. You are covered under the protection, the blood of divine, of God. And they know because fighting you, they're not fighting you, they're fighting with God. So a lot of these people, I'm telling you, they have it coming. They have it really big coming. And let me tell you, a lot of people are going to be asking for prayer. But it's like we have to be careful, even the people that we're praying for, because we don't know what they have done why they're going through certain things in life. The people we help, because some of them, by helping them, you'll be taking on their karma as well. Because even though they tried to bully, bully the divine ones, the black sheep, the, the healer, the light worker, when they realize that their plans backfire and they are now the ones reaping the fruits of their own labor you know what they're gonna do they're gonna run around crying wolf claiming now they are the victims you are the one who attacked them because they realize that they were not big enough to play god in your life because their plans backfired i'm telling you it won't prosper like the song says Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess. All of these spiritual haters, these bullies, these toxic people, these happiness haters, these joy killers, these party poopers, these fun suckers, I'm telling you, they are going to reap abundantly because I'm telling you, a lot of them, they're not even working by themselves. They're, they're getting people to chime in on what it is that they're doing. And sometimes the people who are just followers, they don't even realize that the person they're, they're following is a, is, an, is a demon worker. They're working for the devil. They don't know that this person that they're following, their hands are dirty. They are good at throwing rocks and hiding their hands. This is why it's important to know who we're following, the cause, what are we really fighting for? Because you may think this person is innocent, 
But really in the background, they are not. They are not. And maybe if you change your mind now because you're in it, they will turn on you as well. We must be careful of the people, the crowd we follow, the person we follow, and the people who we try to rescue when they come to us with a sad story because we don't know what they have done. And even though God forgives, but yes, you must, they must go through, they have to, karma must come to pass. They have to go through their karma. And we need to allow people to do that because that's the only way they're going to learn. And this is why as divine ones, as earth angels, a lot of us are placed in the lives of people. Because I'm telling you, this is not the first time. But for a lot of them, this will be the last time. Because they have, can you imagine... A lot of you, you're more, you're aware, you're enlightened. You've come to master yourself in the spiritual realm. You know what is going on out there because you're high priest, you're high priestesses. Can you imagine if people, the people who are out there, who are dumb to spirituality and the wickedness that goes on in the background of spiritual warfare, I'm telling you, this is why so many people, they, they just fall off because they're not covered. They're not protected. They're not aware. They're not enlightened. And this is why I, I have said it before. I am so glad that I connect with my spirituality. Not that it wasn't there, but it's like, no, I am more in tune because God is a spirit. But a lot of people, when they think about spirit, they think about ghosts. It makes them scared, even people who are religious. It scares them. They don't want to go there. It's too deep. And so when you decide to go on a journey to dive in more, a quest for knowledge, people may look at you as being radical, a rebel, an outcast. But I'm telling you, for the spiritual warfare that even I myself have undergone and undergoing right now, if it wasn't for my awareness, let me tell you, let me tell you, the enemy, the enemies would have at me a long time. They would have lapped me up and the bowl would be clean. But see, God knows what we want before we even ask. He knew it was coming. And see, in order for us to, to master that thing, we have to be tested in that area as well. And so it's in the test that some of you, some of us, we are able to maneuver, to get stronger in our spiritual growth and our connection with the divine. So for a lot of you, you're at an impasse. You're at a junction. It's almost like you're at a deadlock in your life right now. Where there is no progress, no ad advancement, it seems is possible. It's like you're heading down this road of life. And then it's like out of the blue. It's like this devil just jump out in your path with a ta-da ta-da surprise you see the moon the illusions the manipulations the trickery the things that are done in the in the dark that we don't see the things that are done under the moon while you are sleeping the enemies up working crafting manipulating energies and tactics to send at you let me tell you spiritual warfare it is real and I can tell you, it is real. It is real. Even though, yes, we don't want to think about it. And of course, we don't give any power to it. Because we know we are greater. We are stronger. Because why? God is for us. We are chosen. We are divine. We are protected. But I'm telling you, when you see people out there under the bridge, 
eating out of trash can, homeless, in poverty. You, I'm telling you, it's because some of these same evil people, they cast spells of whatever kind on these people. And because they are not prepared, they were easily toppled over. So for a lot of you, a lot of us, but God, but God, let me tell you, but God, but God, we, if, if, it, if it was not for God, if it's not for God on our side, like the song says, where would we be? So a lot of you, you're at, is almost where it seemed there is a roadblock. You cannot move. You're deadlock. It's a dead end, a stalemate, a standstill. The enemy doesn't want your life to progress or to advance. They are working. And when you think about, and again, for me, a lot of this is very new, even thinking about the chakras. But with the orange, this is your sacral chakra. What these people are trying to do, they're putting out of balance. They want you to feel lonely, addicted, betrayed, your low libido, low sex drive, low libido, regretful, anxious, guilty. Some of you may be having low back pain as well, having urinary problems and allergies at this time. This is what the devil they're working on. When you're in balance, you're passionate, you're creative, you're connected to others. See, knowledge is power. We have not because we ask not. I'm telling you, the devil and the people who are in the dominion of the devil, they're working over time. They are studying, they're mastering their craft. But we are like, you know, just dancing, just, just a lot of us just being reckless with our own spiritual growth and development while the enemy is mastering their craft, how to keep us stuck, how to keep us stagnant in fear, loneliness. So we are afraid to go out and have relationships, keep us addicted to whatever our toxic behaviors are, are the things that will pull us down. They don't want you to be passionate, to be creative, to be driven, to, to have a strong sense of who you are. And I'm telling you, they are perfecting their craft. And with the red, the red, this is your root. So they, they want to put this out of balance by having you fatigue, insecure, addicted again, feeling greedy lacking a sense of your identity whereas when you're in balance you're grounded you feel supported there's a sense of community there's a sense of tribe and foundation and stability i'm telling you they're working hard they're perfecting their craft because they want to knock you off You need to use affirmations. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Knowing that you can do anything. You're peaceful, you're protected, you're safe, you're secure. Even if you don't feel it, you need to faith it. And I'm not saying fake. Faith, F-A-I-T-H. You need to faith it. See it in the spiritual. Even though you can't see it, believe that it is working. And with your sacral, which is like right there in like your pelvic area. Your lower back. You need to speak life into yourself. Telling yourself you're beautiful, you're handsome. You deserve and you enjoy a creative and passionate life. This is how you need to speak to yourself. Feed yourself nourishment, fruits, because I'm telling you, while they're working hard at their craft, you better get on board. 
You better get on board or else I'm telling you, you will be eaten. You will be eaten because see the enemy show up. The devil is here and they're not playing. They're working very hard. You need to see with their trickery, their trickery, their games, their strategies, their plans. They're fooling you. They're manipulating you. They're smiling in your face, but they're hurting you behind your back. They're playing with your heart. This is the green, your heart space. They want you to feel abandoned, angry, bitterness, fear, rejection, envy, and conditional love. Like nobody truly loves you because they don't. They only love you for what they can get from you. And that's the energy they want you to be in where it's almost like that player energy where you feel like everybody who come in, they are the same. They're going to just use you and leave you because this is what they do. When in fact, when they know that you're in balance, you know, you you deserve love, unconditional love. And this is what they want to get you out of alignment. You're a compassionate person, joy. You're thankful. You're proud. You accept who you are. You need to affirm yourself that you are loved. You are supported. You deserve love. You deserve the best and nothing less. Nothing less. Love is the answer to everything. He that love it not know it not God because God is love. And these people are not love. They are not love. They do not love you. They do not love us. They want to keep us, keep us stuck. They want to keep us stagnant in grief. Again, the green, the heart. See, abandon. I mean, you are a human. It's like everything is dead. It's like she's crying. They want you to be sad, lonely, broken, desperate. They don't want you to grow. You are meant to have growth in your life. With the green here, you're here to flourish, to love abundantly. This is who you are. You're love, you're light, you're pure. They want to kill you at the root, I'm telling you. Mm. Get get with it, get with it. Your solar enlightenment, a lot of you. Spirit is saying you need to tap into your intuition. You feel it in your gut. These people are tricking you. They want you to be in a state of low self-esteem. Some, some of them, they have you with digestive issues, lack of confidence, fear, loss of control. They know that when you're at your best, you feel confident, warm. You are determined, you're driven, you have self-discipline. You don't need anybody to rely on. And you have a positive sense of yourself. Your self-esteem is high. They don't want that for you. You need to believe that you can manifest anything. Why? Because this is who you are. You're a child of divine. You're a child of God. You're royalty. And if your daddy is a king, that means you have access to the throne. You have access to everything around you. And this is not from greed. This is just you knowing who you are. How many, how many of us can go to the White House or anywhere where there's a big corporation with a CEO knock on the door and said, my daddy owned that? They would lock you up. But when you know you are a divine one, you are God's favorite son and daughter, you can knock on that door. We have access to the throne of grace. Evil people can't do that. Evil people don't have access to this. This is why they try to tap into your lower vibrations to pull you down to their level, to have you out of balance. This is know your worth, know who you are. 
You are enlightened, a lot of you. Stop playing fool. You are wise, you are a sage. I'm telling you, it's like when people encounter you, they are in awe. The sun is shining on you. Mm. Even the music turn up a notch. I'm telling you, heaven is celebrating you and you're allowing yourself. We are allowing ourselves to be tricked, to be bamboozled, to be talked out of our purpose of who we are, to walk around with our heads down. This is what the enemy wants. They don't want us to create. They don't want us to create. They don't want us to know who we are. They don't want us to know whose we are. They don't. They don't. They don't. Wow. They don't want us to know who we are. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. They don't want us to tap into our creation, our creative juice. They don't want that. To tap into our crown. See, they want us to feel hopeless. You see how gloomy it is around that card? That's, that's like your crown. They want you to feel hopeless, disconnected. rigid, depressed, and confused when you're meant to have a strong sense of your connection, conviction, enlightened, and spiritual bliss. You need to know you are complete and one with divine, one with God. You are creative because why? You have a creator. Again, they don't want you to be in your destiny. They don't want that for you. They don't want you to fulfill your destiny here. This is why they want to create blockages to keep you stagnant again with the crown chakra there. They don't want you to believe that yes, there is truth to this. This knowledge, this spirituality, they, they want you to think that it is evil. This is your third eye. They want you to think that there is no truth to this. So what they want you to be emotional, to be judgmental and focus, to have nightmares, poor memory, migraine, headaches, all of this. When in fact, you're a highly intuitive person, you have strong psychic power, our abilities, your focus, you're a wise and insightful person, but they want you to think that you are crazy. No, this is just you knowing yourself, knowing, trusting your intuition. A lot of these people, they want you to be blinded to the truth. I'm telling you, they are working, working, hard to perfect their craft eight of pentacles yeah they're working hard to see death stagnancy in your life a lot of these people they are celebrating hooray like i said they jump out surprise they don't want you to have victory in your life this is who you are but see they're trying to trick you so that they can celebrate. Some of them, they are celebrating. They take you for a fool, for some of you. They don't want to see you go into that new beginning. To, for you to be adventurous, spontaneous. Your innocence. They don't want that. They want you to be in grief. I'm telling you. Yeah, five of ones. All this conflict and argument and chaos and competition that they're bringing to your life you're in the workplace they're competing with you they you know anything you do they're trying to one-up you it's like come on a lot of you you have a brand new beginning and these people this is what they're trying to block from you a fiery brand new start this is coming from god and the enemy i'm telling you they're working overtime 
to block to block this. I may be talking to a king of cups. You're loving, you're caring, you're affectionate, you're friendly. And this is what these people, queen of cups as well, they're working hard at. So you don't feel love, you're abandoned, you feel like, you know, everybody who come, they just want to play us, play with our hearts, our feeling. We see all of this. They want to trick you. They are tricking you. They're giving you fake offers, fake love. Some of you need to drink things that are warm. You know, like they said, soul food, chicken soup for the soul. Things that are warm. Explore your inner child. Mm. Yeah, Knight of Cups, I'm telling you. A lot of these people, all they want to do is just give you, you know, small offers. Fickle offers. Nothing steady. They want to come in. They want to block your progress, your destiny. By making you think that they love you. Oh my, but the sun, the sun is shining on you, shining for you. A lot of you, you're coming to this enlightenment, this awareness as to what is going around you. Maybe this message is what is bringing this align, this, okay, alignment. Okay, I was going to say enlightenment, but yeah, you coming into alignment with your chakras too, balancing them out. When you feel doubt, fill it with faith. When you're feeling negative, swing to the positive. You don't see it, but feel it because they want to drag you down. Rise above it with everything you have within you. Heaven, heaven is cheering for you. See, these are your ancestors. They are also cheering for you as well. They want to see you fulfill this. They want to see you come into your destiny. They want to see you come into this connection. They want to see you come into this partnership. You deserve this. See, like he's over here praying, like, don't give up. Don't give in. You know, we're counting on you to fulfill this. You are the generational curse breaker. Please, please don't give up. Don't quit now. You're too far. So when you're feeling lack, you need to speak to yourself. You're blessed. I am blessed. I am highly favored. God is for me. David said, I, I, I was young and now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. The sun is shining on you. I'm telling you, the sun is coming in on you. Don't allow any competitive, jealous energies to come in to steal your joy. Don't allow people to come in to love bomb you. When you feel your intuition with this mysticism, your third eye here, chakra, when you feel this, that you can't trust people, go with it. Go with your intuition. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, they're a good person. If you feel it, go with it. Go with it. Until people can truly demonstrate who you are, who they are, don't trust them. Trust should be earned. You have a brand new beginning. The sun, this is hope. This is hope. Joy, success, celebration, positivity. This is what they're trying to block. If you come into this connection, this partnership, they're trying to block it. So what? They want you to be stuck in your head. Nine of swords, having nightmares. We read about that. They want you to have all these nightmares. This is your third eye. They want to block that. Can't sleep, insomnia. You're unfocused, poor memory. Because when you can't sleep, you're tired. So this is why they're trying to block your shot, your, your, your third eye. Ang you're anxious, you're fearful. I mean, I'm telling you, this is the T. This is the T. This is the T. I'm telling you, I'm spilling it. 
Again, a lot of new beginnings, Ace of Pentacles. A new offer, creative, passionate beginning. Whether in business, money's coming in, new abundance, stability. This is what they want to block. But I'm telling you, when you know what you know, what you know, the enemy cannot fool you. You have to fight for yourself. Stop rolling over, playing dead, giving the enemy the upper hand to, to, to work on you. It's time to stand up. Like Bob Marley said, get up, stand up, stand up for your right. Yeah, you're, you're wise, the hermit. You search for the truth. You have inner guidance. A lot of you, you, you know how to meditate. You're meditating and spirit said, go within, go within. When in doubt, check it out. You know the truth. Even though they want to confuse you with the two of swords here, with, they want to confuse you blindfold you play on your feelings spirit is saying you are smart you have mental clarity you're a person of authority you're logical use that sword cut it off cut them off stop playing with stop toying with the enemy because the enemy is not playing about you and your blessings fight for it Fight for your generation. Fight for your ancestors. Go ahead and do the work of him who sent you while it's day. Because the night is coming when we cannot work. Go get it. Until next time, be blessed.